And I am certain that on this day my fellow Americans expect that on my induction into the presidency, I will address them with a candor and a decision with the present situation of our people impelled. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I can still remember vividly the first time that I encountered a metahuman. It was nothing like I had seen before, and it was horrifying. I think it's important that we start there, because that was truly the first step in the paranormal journey that changed my life and changed the direction of history. I am Special Agent Michael J. Simons, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around once this project sees the light of day. It is probably worth mentioning that I am not currently, nor have I ever been, suicidal. If something were to happen to me, make sure these recordings get spread far and wide. Hello? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Director Douglas is a hard ass. Cold, ruthless, calculating. No one's first choice is their boss. However, she likes me, and I make that work for me. She called to tell me that there was a break-in at Senator Reeves' house. None of the family is harmed, but there has to be a reason why she's sending me. As I approached Senator Reeves' house, I saw through the window his two beautiful young girls, Molly and Maggie. Based on the crime scene, it is nothing short of a miracle that nothing happened to the Senator's daughters. When I entered the home, it seemed pretty standard order. An officer was kneeling in front of Bonnie Reeves, taking her statement. It wasn't until I locked eyes with Mrs. Reeves that I realized the depth of the situation. Her eyes were of fear, fear unlike anything that I've seen in this woman's face. It felt as if I was the only one in the room who she could tell her version of events to. After Mrs. Reeves conducted her interview with the police, she approached me, and we began discussing the series of events that took place. I asked her how Molly and Maggie were doing, and I saw the fear shake through her to her bones. They are the ones who did this, she said. Unsure of what she meant, I had to inquire further. She said, her two beautiful, blonde, six-year-old twins took down two six-foot-tall armed intruders with nothing but their mind. Mrs. Reeves, you're not being very clear. Are you trying to say that your daughters are uh, psychics and have special powers? That's exactly what I'm telling you. You don't live with them. I do. The rage that took over her eyes when she thought that I was questioning her. You don't live here. You don't see what they are capable of. You don't get it. I look around the room and I see the blood, the broken glass, the overturned tables and the overturned chairs. And I have to wonder to myself, how exactly did all of this happen? Possibly the easiest answer would be Mrs. Reeves has gone off the deep end. A little too much wine, a few too many Percocet. But something doesn't feel right. I turn my attention to the flight of stairs leading up to the bedrooms. It's then that I notice the two twin girls, Molly and Maggie. I had to wonder to myself, was that what was giving me this uneasy feeling? Them watching me? How long had they been there? Were they watching specifically me or everything that was going on? But no matter how you cut it and how you analyze it, there was something off about the fact that two grown men were laying on the floor dead and two six-year-old twin girls were standing 
as if nothing happened. They were the only ones around. They were the first to respond. When Mrs. Reeves realized that I was making eye contact with them. She immediately stopped speaking. She thanked me for coming, and she said that if she had any more information, she would let me know. This was highly unusual, as this has never been the way that Mrs. Reeves and I have ever interacted once in any scenario, let alone a serious one as this. It made me realize she's afraid of them too. She's afraid of her own children. This wasn't my first encounter with the Reeves girls, and it wouldn't be my last. But this was my first encounter with metahumans, and it will be one that I will remember for the rest of my life. If only I knew then what I know now, I would have taken it much more seriously, and I could have potentially stopped a lot of bad things from happening, but at the time, I was so fresh, and I didn't believe in any of this. And that's why it's important that you hear these stories. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. Question everything. There are always more questions than answers in this life.